One of the film industry's most successful and dedicated producers is Ross Hunter. The devotion with which he has produced 45 films in the past two decades is reflected in such big box office winners as Pillow Talk, Thoroughly Modern Millie, and Airport. Now, with associate producer Jock Mapes, he's embarking on a project that requires the ultimate in vision and inspired planning. His care in blending the combined talents of specialists in camera, set design, music, costumes, and the thousand supporting crafts that make up a film company is the catalyst that sparks all his productions. Hunter is assembling an international cast, led by Peter Finch and Liev Ullman. And he's coordinating all these creative efforts for a film that is a challenge to a man of his capabilities. Recreating Shangri-La and producing the musical drama Lost Horizon. The scope of the production is extraordinary and necessary for the producer to unfold all the drama in the James Hilton story. Events and characters must ring true, and the selection of actors to fill the roles and play out the episodes is a critical part of the project. For the opening sequences of the picture, Hunter assembles Peter Finch, Sally Kellerman, George Kennedy, Michael York, and Bobby Van to work under the direction of Charles Jarrett. Later, at other locations, they'll be joined by Liv Ullman, Olivia Hussey, James Shagita, Charles Boyer, and John Gielford. At the outset of the film, Peter Finch leads a small group out of the dangers of an Asian revolution. Their journey to an unknown destination begins here. Ross Hunter insists on doing as much as possible of his stories in real location. The company filmed in the 105 degree heat of Tucson, Arizona, and immediately thereafter, top Mount Hood in Oregon, 12,000 feet high, 30 degrees below zero. It is a logistic challenge filled with handicaps and hardship, but they have to get the reality they've come for. To illustrate the long and dangerous trek the band of hijacked survivors face as they make their way towards Shangri-La. Shangri-La. Long before Peter Finch gazes upon this paradise for the first time, Hunter entrusted a talented group of professionals with the uncommon responsibility of creating the world of Shangri-La. Designer Jean-Louis is assigned the task of fashioning a look for the people of Shangri-La, dressing the actors in colorful costumes that reflect a feeling of peace, tranquility, and practicality. He focuses on tones that will complement the overall color scheme Preston Ames designs for the Shangri-La sets. Ames, working under the supervision of Jacques Mapes, envisions the perfect place, a Shangri-La to satisfy the dreams of everyone. And when it is built from the ground up, it is an awesome setting. The Lamasery rising 80 feet in the air with a complete interior. And in this environment, Hermes Pan begins to create the choreography and pageantry for the film. Hunter had decided on Academy Award winners Bert Backrack and Hal David to compose an original score, and they created the exciting backgrounds for dances and ten other new songs. All right, playback! Actress Olivia Hussey performs for the cameras with a group of men from Shangri-La. The 
The mystical, magical valley of the blue moon is a place where the best hopes of men can be realized. This theme, created by James Hilton, is interpreted by Ross Hunter and brought to life by the movie company. They've translated the meaning of Hilton's words into an entire valley that spreads out in an almost perfect and beautiful order below the Lamasery. It is here that Peter Finch will find and fall in love with Catherine, a school teacher in the Valley of the Blue Moon. Liv Ullman, an international star of major stature, plays the role, and she will sing one of Bachrach and David's musical compositions in a sequence with the children of her school. At the start of the scene, Peter Finch discusses his perception of Shangri-La with John Gielgud. How often in your countries do you hear the expression, he worried himself to death, or this thing or that thing killed him? Your lives are as a rule shorter, not so much by natural death as by indirect suicide. What worries me is that it's a little like a dream from which I shall shortly but unpleasantly awake. You surprise me. <laughs> I surprise you. Yes. That you who have written so much of better worlds should think it a dream when you find one? Or is it that you fail to recognize one of your own dreams when you see it? And this is our school. This is where we start to prepare our young for the future. The world is a circle without a beginning and nobody knows where it really ends. Whoa! Everything depends on where you are in the circle that's spinning around. Half of the time we are upside down. La 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 Everything in Shangri-La has to be handcrafted by skilled technicians, including rice paddies and a waterworks to irrigate them. George Kennedy plays an engineer who gives new meaning to his life by creating the apparatus for the people living in the valley. Sally Kellerman is swept up by the joy and enthusiasm of his success. Hunter's whole life is concerned with the production of motion pictures that entertain. It is devotion, now seen in the way he is making a musical drama of Lost Horizon. <laughs> 